What you're about to see is an excerpt of testing performed by the United States military to simulate the most severe battlefield injury imaginable, the complete bisection of the femoral artery and vein. The objective was to identify the field treatment that provides soldiers the best chance for survival. The following procedure was performed to test and compare the efficacy of currently available battlefield appropriate hemostatic agents. Using subjects weighing approximately 110 pounds each, the trauma doctor slices through the soft tissue and all muscles throughout the vital groin area down to the femoral artery and vein. The doctor now places his gloved hand over the wound to prevent the spurting of blood that occurs as he completely bisects the femoral artery and vein. The wound cavity is immediately flooded with blood. Suction is performed to measure the volume of blood lost as a hemorrhage is allowed to proceed uncontrolled to simulate the standard response time. If no action is taken, the subject will die due to exsanguation or bleed out, the leading cause of battlefield deaths. Using a wiping motion, the doctor uses gauze to remove excess blood and liquid from the wound. A single dose of quick clot, 3.5 ounces, is dumped directly onto the bleeding wound and pressure is applied using the standard military dressing. Hemostasis is achieved almost immediately after applying quick clot to the trauma. After the gauze is removed from the wound, you can clearly see the quick clot. The top layer is untouched by the bleeding that normally would have saturated the pressure bandage. You can see quick clot is easily irrigated out of the wound, leaving behind a tenacious clot resulting from its rapid adsorption of fluids. This allows the body's own natural clotting factors to become highly concentrated. The treatments tested included the standard military pressure dressing, Marine Polymer's RDH bandage, Metaphor's Traumadex, and Z Medica's Quick Clot. Quick Clot was the only treatment that reduced blood loss and increased survivability better than the standard military bandage. In fact, quick clot was the only treatment to achieve a zero mortality rate, or 100% survivability.